Hey everyone, you're wondering why I have a ruler in front of my face? That's because today we're going to be learning about lines of symmetry. If we cut something apart, that it's two exact same sides. It's like a mirror. So start by watching this video and I'll show you what we're going to do next. We're in line to ride the Ferris wheel A circular shape made out of steel Before we ride, we try to decide Where are circles, lines of symmetry hide Lines to the center have symmetry So each circle has infinity Each line upon further inspection Creates a perfect mirror reflection Pirate ship, we wait our turn. This ride can make our stomachs churn. A line from the axle to the ground. There's one line of symmetry to be found. Identical parts, parts. facing each other uh. have symmetry yeah. with one another. Woo. Lines of symmetry evenly divide. divide. Let's find symmetry on every ride. Everywhere we look, we Where? see lines of symmetry. Lines of symmetry. We see the roller coasters loop de loop has a line of symmetry between the loop. A mirror reflection on each side is where the lines of symmetry hide. Then we see a mirror and realize symmetry disguised right between our eyes. A line divides each side of our face. Yeah. We see symmetry all over Everywhere the place. We For lunch, and we've got a hunch that symmetry's in the food we'll munch. We look at a cracker, it's a square. We see four lines of symmetry there. To the four corners, they were gone, leaving us with a cracker octagon. We looked a bit closer than to see the regular octagon's eight lines of symmetry. Wow, that song is definitely what I like to call an earworm. It really gets inside your head. So we're going to be doing a couple pages all about symmetry. So sometimes things can have extra lines of symmetry and sometimes they might have no lines of symmetry and sometimes they might have one line of symmetry. So your job today in math is to look at some of these different examples and we're going to see what kinds of lines of symmetry we can do. So let's look at this first one, at this birthday cake. All right, if I put a line like this, that's halfway through, is that a line of symmetry? I did it super light because I might have to erase that because that is not a line of symmetry. That is not exactly the same as that side, but if I take it and draw a line right down the middle, even in the middle of this candle, right there, now we have a line of symmetry. This side is exactly the same as that side. What about this butterfly? Am I going to draw a horizontal line or vertical line? Or maybe I get to draw a diagonal line. See if I put a diagonal line there. No, that's not a mirror image of each other because this side will have antennas and this side doesn't. I think I have to draw it up and down. 
I think I need a vertical line to make my line of symmetry. But maybe something like a sunshine, I might be able to do a couple more, just like a circle. A circle, you can have so many. So I could draw a line of symmetry here. I could draw a line of symmetry here. Do you see any other spots I might be able to draw a line of symmetry? Yeah, I could even do one right over here. What about if I go over here, let's check it out. Yeah, even in between those. So you can see how many lines of symmetry you can have for these different ones over here. On this page, it gets a little bit trickier because not everything is symmetrical. You can't always divide something in half and it will be exactly the same. Let's use this stapler for example. All right, if I draw a line of symmetry like this, is this side exactly the same as that side? No, they're the same size, but they aren't exactly the same. So that's not a line of symmetry. What about if I draw it this way? No, this side on top has staples and this side doesn't. So this does not have any lines of symmetry. Let's look at this owl. If I draw it this way, that won't work. One side has the talons and the other side has the eyes. But just like with Mrs. Satcher's face in the beginning, if I divide it right down the middle, there's a line of symmetry. And because it is symmetrical, I can color that guy in. I can color my owl in. So I drew my line of symmetry and then I can color in my owl because he is or she is symmetrical. Now I'm going to look at all the different ones and make sure you look really closely because some of them look like they might be symmetrical, but there might be some small details that make it so it's not symmetrical. So make sure you look really closely for this lesson. On the next page, on the third page in this one, you're going to draw the other half of the symmetry. So they've already drawn your line of symmetry. We know what this half looks like. So then we're going to know exactly what this side's going to look like. Oh, a little bit bigger. I want to make it look exactly the same. And I see that there's a triangle here and a triangle there and a triangle here and another triangle there. So I have two sides that are now exactly the same and my line of symmetry. If you have any questions, you guys know where to get me. Just send a message through Teams and I'd love to help you out. This last one, you get to create your own picture.